oh my god nina nina nina, nina. Okay. it was a big leap yeah. for <laughs> for me yes because i was always miss proper yeah. um, you know with my necklines with my fully covered and you know, <laughs> no exposing how do you kiss in front of the camera <laughs> You know, for real. He's like, "Don't be ridiculous. You're embarrassing." <laughs> I said, "You know, instead of fading away, I'd rather just quit when I'm on the top." And she looked at my legs and she said, "Again, you've used bronzer, and again you've used it. It's full of patches." I said, "Keep quiet. <laughs> That's the only way reality is going to work." Hi, this is Neelam Kotari Sony, and you're watching me on Midday.com. Hello everyone this is Ocean Fernandez from mcdate.com and today we are in conversation with the fabulous Neelam Kothari Soni. Hi, Hi Neelam how are Ocean. you Ocean yes. I love your name Thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> So Neelam first of all congratulations that the third season of Fabulous Lives is Thank out Thank you uh, I've binged on the first two and I have seen the trailer of the recent one and I'm Psyched. I'm really excited to see what's in store. You better binge season three now. <laughs> I will. I think it's hard to not binge because there's such little, little of the four of you. It's like, okay, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen? I next? think it's just an easy watch. It's an easy, yes. breezy, fun watch. You yes. know, um, it's it's like uh, just uh, come and enjoy the ride with us. <laughs> So, Neeram, OTT has been your second innings. I mean, you have always been the superstar of the ages, and you know, despite the gap, I don't think there's anyone out there who doesn't remember you. <laughs> But does it feel overwhelming that this generation is now seeing you as you are? It is overwhelming because, uh, you know, uh, earlier when I was doing films, I could never gauge my popularity. I think now with social media and thanks to you know this show I received so much of love you know from all age groups yes you know be it kids teenagers you know people my age people who used to watch my movies you know it's 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 just been fantastic I think all the love that I'm receiving from all of you is just uh, that's what keeps me going <laughs> I remember in the first season when you guys went to Doha you mentioned not being used to you know being photographed by a fan just coming and approaching you you know when the selfie moment just happened over there obviously you come from an era when selfies were not a big deal back yeah. then it was all about autographs do you have any crazy fan moments from back in the day i just feel this this selfies today i mean it's great for the fans uh but uh <laughs> I mean honestly I find it quite annoying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, take a proper photograph why a selfie but uh it's it's great you know because with social media uh the reach is so far and uh you know it's normally at airports so when you're traveling like I remember going to um recently uh, going to Istanbul and Ahana Samir and me were walking out of the airport and all of a sudden this blonde girl she was a local and she didn't speak a word of english and uh, she came running up to me and she was like oh my god neela 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 uh, so i was like how how do you know she so she was trying to explain to me that she's watched bollywood wives and she loves all four and wow. yeah that was i think uh, for me it was special because it just made me realize the reach of this yes. show i mean it's dubbed in 160 languages it's shown all over the world and um yeah just receiving so much <laughs> of love it's 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 just fantastic it's great you know you mentioned ahana and obviously she's also seen in the show in a couple of episodes at what point did she acknowledge or realize that you know like my mom is like a superstar and like she is something okay i think she has realized now earlier i feel you know when she was like 8 9 she had no idea she is the kind of person who actually shies away from the camera mm. like if if the photographers are there waiting somewhere or whatever and she gets clicked she doesn't like it <laughs> like she's she's the complete opposite of her mama and her dad <laughs> you know she she shies away from the limelight uh she it makes her very uncomfortable you know i remember when she said when you were contemplating returning yeah. back to the movies and when sumir says that you know i want your mama to be back to work and back to the films and she said you know only if mama wants 
And to have that coming out of your daughter, I mean, you know you've raised her well. But she well. also pre- said that she prefers mama being a jewelry designer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like, sometimes she sees me getting ready and, you know, getting dressed and the makeup artists are coming home. She's like, mama, where are you going? I said, I'm shooting for Bollywood Wives. But why? <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that, but why says it all. I think she'd rather have me just going to the office and yeah. back. And she's going through that phase right now where she doesn't like the limelight. She's she's at the moment not into watching Hindi films, Bollywood. Yeah. Uh, she's yeah, she's not she's exposed just, she's just to being it. a child. Yeah, she's not exposed to yeah. it as yet. And I think I have also sort of um, I try also in my own capacity, you know, just to keep her away from it as yeah. well. Not that she's dying to be out in the limelight. She she doesn't like it herself. <laughs> you know, you mentioned during that conversation mm-hmm. with Nina Gupta, mother's guilt. Yeah, you must have experienced it. I experience it lot. all the time. <laughs> you know that mommy guilt is, I think, something which. All moms will go through. Yes. Um, and I think as a child gets older, they they also understand that mom's working or dad's yeah. working or whatever. But I think that mommy guilt, no matter what age um, it just doesn't go. Ahana is, it'll never go. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so sweet. Yeah. I love that the bond you guys have. You know, you also mentioned that returning to the movies, I mean, it's a bit difficult because you left the business because you weren't getting the roles that maybe you are getting offered now. And you said that good roles were not coming your way and it just made you quit altogether. If you could elaborate that what was happening during that stage that made you just shut it all down. I'll be honest, I just felt like, you know, I uh, I was getting amazing uh, offers and work and, you know, working with, you know, amazing directors and producers. So I just felt that that was dipping. The quality of work that was coming my way was uh, not, was basically not what I was looking for. And I said, you know, instead of fading away, I'd rather just quit when I'm on the top. And uh, I did a stint in, you know, hosting a television show. Yes. It was called Philip Stop Ten. You know, the the music yeah. countdown shows, BPL Oi. I did uh, Ooh La La, which I won uh, an award for. Uh, so I did that, and then I sort of stopped. Then uh, after a couple of years, after I had quit, Suraj Bajatia called me, and he said that you know I'm making this film. Ham saath saath hai. You know, there's Sal- Salman, there's Seth, there's, you know, yeah. Tabu, Lolo, Sonali, everyone's in the film. And I and I really want you to be part of this. And I was like, Suraji, but I've I've quit now and I'm not <laughs> I'm not doing it anymore. He said, this one you have to do for me. And I and I, I couldn't refuse. And I'm so happy that I did it. It was a fantastic yes. role. It was a beautiful movie. And um, I'm really, really happy. I got this chance to work with Suraj Barjatya. On that note, he recently won a national award and yes. so did Karan Johar. Yes. Two directors you've worked with both won national awards. Do you recall working on their film sets like Kuch Kuch Hota Hai or Ham Saath Saath Hai because they are the modern directors and who are still out there today? I think Suraj Barjatia is someone who is so understated. He is uh, one director that I've worked with who, I mean, sometimes you forgot he was on set. And even uh, so humble, so down to earth, even when he would come and explain a scene to the artist, so quiet, so gentle. I mean, I've never worked with anyone like that. And I mean, so down to earth. And uh, Karan, yeah, I mean, Karan is, you know, like... He's part of the show as well. He's part of the show. This is... I mean, B- Bollywood Wives is is his baby, <laughs> you know, it's it's his brainchild. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's full of life and he's bubbly and he's full of jokes and, <laughs> you know, keeps you entertained all the time. He's just, he's just lovely. Cut two decades later, we saw you in Made in Heaven and that was a big leap because obviously the show itself showed you evolve. Uh, you know, from taking on to a first time kissing scene, but obviously it was your it husband. Was a big, it was a big leap <laughs> for, <laughs> for me, yes. because I was always Miss Proper, yeah. um, you know, with my necklines, with my fully covered and you know, <laughs> no exposing. Yeah, so for me, it was, um, 
Zoya narrated the script to yeah. me, and uh, she was like, you know, there's only one hitch, Neelam. Um, there's a kissing scene. So I said, light. <laughs> and I'm dying to work with Zoya Akhtar. She was like, but relax, it's with your husband. So I was like, okay, okay I can why sleep not? Well. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not? You know, if I'm, if I'm going to do something bold and different, you know, why not with my own husband? But is it different when you're doing it on screen, even though it's your husband? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it must have been a little awkward because you have like cameras around you. I mean, it's so funny, okay, that you're asking me this because before our, our, our scene, I, I actually asked Samir, I said, how do you kiss in front of the camera? <laughs> <laughs> you know? For real. Honestly, I said, like, like, like how, how do you kiss for the camera? Yeah. He's like, don't be ridiculous, you're embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're embarrassing me. And then... Uh, like, how yeah, many takes? It. How many takes, if you have to say? I, we had, like, maybe it, the chemistry was there. So, I think we had about two takes. Oh, yeah. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I'm really <laughs> loving your candid answers. On that note, you're so candid on the show in a very genuine way. You know, you're unabashedly unapologetic about be it your fillers, be it the way you look. And you crack jokes on yourself. Like the way you look and you know, like, oh, I, uh, I bronze my legs when I'm in Bombay. My neck looks in a certain way. You know, just the other night I went out, okay? And <laughs> I was wearing like, I was wearing a short dress. And it's so funny that you're bringing this up. And Seema was sitting next to me. And she looked at my legs and she says, again, you've used bronzer. And again, you've used it. It's full of patches. I said, keep quiet. But I think that's so inspiring in a way for young Is girls. It inspiring? Because, I mean, because I listen, mean, you're I, not apologetic for being yourself. That's the only way reality is going to work. Yeah. If you're going to be, got to be yourself. You've got to have fun. And you've just got to own it. Yes. You know, it, it's okay. People will laugh at you. People will think you're silly. But at the end of the day, people will also, there'll be people out there who will say kudos. Yeah. Also, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, I just, you know, one thing keeps on going through my brain when I'm doing this show. Just don't take yourself so seriously. Yes. It's just fun. Yes, it is reality and sometimes, yes, we are discussing serious things uh, on the show, especially season three, which is very difficult. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just, you've got to give it your 100%. Are we looking at, you know, maybe some feature films coming your way? Well, I don't know, honestly, because it's, it's not like I've been offered any mm -hmm. earth-shattering roles or any, um, you know, even series. I have been offered stuff, but not stuff not which... Not something that makes you say yes. E exactly. You know, it's got to be something that's, that interests me. Yes. Honestly, when I did season one, I was in that space that, that you know, I would be... Uh, I was very keen to, you know, make a comeback and, yes. and act again and... Now, I, my priorities are sort of shifting a little bit <laughs> because I'm realizing that, you know, I am doing a fair bit and yes. uh, my daughter is also growing up. So, why not hang with her a little more before she, yeah. you know, packs her bags and she's off to college. <laughs> so, now I'm doing as many trips as I can with her whenever she has a holiday. It's, and if Samir's shooting, so it's just me and her. We go on a girly trip and she's become my best buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.